they're refreshed. As you said, it was a tough 10 week block. Um, just seemed like big game after big game. Coming up, coming up against some great teams, Leinster obviously, and then the culmination with the with the game against Exeter and Thomond Park, who um, they're a phenomenal team. So we were obviously delighted overall. I think we were eight from 10 in that block. Um, so uh, a well-earned break for a lot of the players, yeah. It's, uh, it's excited because a lot of these guys uh, are the fellas that have been waiting for opportunity or guys that are just on the fringe of, say, even the Irish squad. So there's guys that are really trying to put in a performance over the next three weeks. Um, also, it's exciting from our point of view uh, because the, how tight the two, the two tails in the Pro 14 are, specifically our own conference. Obviously, playing Ospreys will be, will be a big game for us and the, and the Southern Kings starting with them this weekend. When you look at the results, it probably doesn't reflect exactly the type of team that they are because uh, they're one of the highest offloading teams in the Pro 14. Uh, they do score tries despite the results, they are scoring a lot of tries. Um, and as I said, they have a huge amount of speed uh, in their back three in particular. So they're one of the highest scoring teams from turnover as well. So if you kick loosely or you, uh, you don't look after the ball well enough, they can punish you, especially on a fast track in Cork. So we're well aware of their threats uh, and we're, we're trying to prepare for that. Um, and then obviously the two away trips to Wales, Ospreys are having a phenomenal season. Um, they've been really, really impressive with some of the, some of the, way they, with some of the games they've played this season. Uh, and Scarlet's away is, is never an easy game. So um, yeah, we, we're well aware of the challenge.